Thousands of people hit the streets of Indonesian capital Jakarta as well as major industrial hubs of the country in defense of labor rights on Wednesday, June 15th. The people were protesting the Indonesian government's attempts to reintroduce the controversial Omnibus Job Creation Act. Indonesia's newly founded Labor Party was the key organizer of the protest. The Labour Party was formed in November last year after a combined struggle by major trade union confederations in the country against the omnibus law. An estimated 10,000 workers and protesters congregated for the massive demonstration outside the House of Representatives building in Jakarta. The centre of protest is the omnibus law, a flagship legislation of President Joko Widodo or Jokowi as he is popularly known. The legislation titled Job Creation Act was introduced in 2020 and hurried passed through the House of Representatives with also no deliberation within or outside the parliament. Trade unions, students groups and progressive movements came out in large numbers demanding the law's repeal. Opposition parties also condemned the legislation for the manner in which it was bulldozed through the House. The law was in fact deemed conditionally unconstitutional by the nation's constitutional court in November last year. The court gave the government two years to repair the major procedural lapses in the passage of the bill and set it aside from being enacted or even legislated upon them. If the government or the parliament fails to do so, the law will be considered void by default. One of the sticking points in the procedural lapses was the fact that the government did not conduct adequate public consultations before passing the law. However, this made the ruling coalition push through legislation to alter laws that govern passage of bills. Recent legislation would change the definition of what constitutes a public consultation for passing of bills. It will also change procedures for passing omnibus-style bills in the parliament, allowing it to include sections unrelated to the main framework of the bill. These changes to legislative procedures are geared towards reintroducing the Job Creation Act without much procedural issues. This controversial law would bring in sweeping changes to 79 existing laws and regulations, including those on environment, labor, taxes and private investments. Trade unions have argued that the law would undermine hard-fought protections for job security, minimum wages, paid leaves and severance pay. The law would also do away with limits put on polluting industries and drastically reduce the number of sectors barred from private investments from 300 to 6. Apart from their opposition to the omnibus law, protesters also voiced their dissent against several major legislations proposed by the government. These include amendments to the process of lawmaking and proposed liberalization of agriculture. Protesters also voiced their opposition to recent rules shortening election campaigning to a 75-day period. This would put smaller parties like the Labour Party at a disadvantage. The people also called for the ratification of the bill to protect the rights of domestic workers. Despite the government's determination, workers' movement and environmental groups are expected to continue their struggle against the law in the coming days.